You're watching WGN News at 9. Some controversial ads are now on the side of buses and at the uh, RTA stations. They're billboards the Muslim community doesn't like. However, as WGN's Dan Ponce tells us, they've popped up elsewhere in the county and fall within the framework of First Amendment rights. The controversial ad reads, In any war between the civilized man and the savage, support the civilized man, support Israel, defeat jihad. It's already been running in other cities, including New York, Detroit, and Washington, D.C. The ad is financed by Pamela Geller, a conservative blogger with an organization called the American Freedom Defense Initiative. Several Muslim groups in Chicago say the ad campaign is racist. When you say defeat jihad, jihad being a central tenet of the Islamic faith, she's essentially saying defeat all Muslims, defeat my kid, defeat my grandmother, defeat my neighbors. Um, it's a silly ad, it's a, it's a racist ad in that sense. It's incredibly misinformed. Ahmed Rahab is executive director of the Chicago chapter of the Council on American Islamic Relations. He says most people associate the word jihad with terrorism, which he says is completely inaccurate. Jihad for us is a daily struggle against odds, against barriers. It is going to school, paying your tuition, you know, paying your taxes, having two jobs to raise your kids. Um, whatever it is that people go through, the struggles, the daily struggles in order to, to come on top against the barriers, that's precisely what jihad is. No one here at CTA headquarters would go on camera today to discuss the controversy, but they did release a statement saying essentially the CTA has a legal obligation to run the ad. The statement reads in part, the CTA understands that this ad may be offensive to our customers. While the courts have ruled this ad is a form of protected speech under the First Amendment, we object to its divisive message. WGN legal analyst Terry Sullivan. I would say that, uh, that with this present Supreme Court, that this sign, uh, however objectionable by, uh, by uh, certain groups, nonetheless, I, I think that it would, uh, uh, would fall within being constitutionally protected by the First Amendment. The ads will run for the next four weeks on 10 CTA buses, bringing in an estimated $4,500 in revenue for the CTA. Dan Ponce, WGN News.